Hey guys, this is Eliza and welcome back to a new video. So today we'll be doing another try on haul, this time for Shein. Now Shein is kind of one of those online stores that have like everything and you kind of like, this is a little bit too good to be true because the prices are usually pretty good but I've seen some really bad hauls from them and I've seen some really good hauls from them so I'm not sure what exactly to expect. I am a little bit nervous but we'll see how it goes. First off, I have already opened the bag and I have actually looked through these items because I was looking for a specific item that I purchased that I was planning to wear for an event last week and everything in this bag except for one item was black. So I had to like go through every bag to try and find that one black thing I was looking for. And then when I was searching through, I remembered another item I'd ordered and I ended up wearing that one instead. And that is the shirt that I'm currently wearing. So I'll do a better shot in a minute. But just for the first, it's just a grey t-shirt that's got a cat on it and it says not today. And these are like one of the ones that like you see on Shein all the time. There's like a heap of different like cat ones. And they're all really cute and I decided to grab this. I did size up, I believe, two sizes bigger than I normally do. It might have been three. The tag on this says 4XL. But I think on the website it might have been a 3XL. I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen anyway. But this is like, well, you'll see it in a minute. But it's not super baggy, like 4 or 4XL on a normally 1 to 2XL, 16 to 18 size body. This is not loose enough for a 4XL, so it's smaller than normal. So I'm a bit nervous because this is the only thing I've tried on and it does not fit as big as it should. So I'm a little bit nervous that the other items will be too small, but we'll see. So yeah, this is the first item and I'll show you guys me trying it on like properly. Okay, so this is that first t-shirt on. Obviously it's just got the cat on it. It says not today. This is just a normal like baggy t-shirt. As I said, this is a size 4XL, so, you know, it's not, like, super baggy as much as I think it should be, but it is still nice and baggy. You can still tuck it in to jeans, but, yeah, it's just a plain grey t-shirt. Not really much else to see here, and I've already worn this once. I do like it. The material is really soft. I'll wear it again. So next we have an item that I won't actually be showing you me trying it on because it is a bra. It is one of those sticky bras with the little clip in the middle. I have, hold on, let me take it out of this packaging because it's like really crinkly. So I have tried one of these before, not this brand though. It was one from Boohoo and it did not fit like at all. Like I could not get it like one cup on one boob, one cup on the other boob and have lace in the middle, like the string in the middle. It would just expand it completely because my boobs do fit a fair way apart when they're not in a bra. And to get this on in the first place was impossible. Like I needed four hands. So I don't know how much better this one's gonna go but I wanted to try another one on and this is a slightly different shape this one's one of like the teardrop kind of water drop type shape rather than just the round ones but we'll see how this goes but like I said I will try this on I did get a bigger size hoping that might rectify the problem I had with the first ones a little bit maybe I don't know but I will try this on and then I'll come back and tell you guys what I thought okay so I've just tried the bra on and one, it is better than the one on Boohoo, or the one from Boohoo that I got. So my experience with sticking it on is, as I said, like I've got a bra on right now, but usually my boobs like sit kind of here. So I've got to like stick one on, refit over, and then try and get this one over enough to stick that on, which is a task. And I will say it was easier to get that one on. I didn't have too much trouble getting it actually on, but once it was on, hold on, let me grab one of them. So this bit here didn't really stay stuck down. It just kind of popped back off. And in the middle, even before I tried to like do the, the Titan thing, the insides were kind of coming off because they don't really have enough to curve to really curve in with your boobs. And they're just kind of like sitting gapped in the middle. So coincidentally, the middle is not really stuck down properly. 
as I said, this was a lot easier to get on. It was easier to get off and it hurt a lot less than the Boohoo one. So as you can see just here, this is for a double D. I ordered it two size bigger because I am usually a C and I still like it. I feel like I'm wearing an A cup. Like this, the circumference it covers is not enough and it just doesn't round in enough in the cleavage area to fully stick down before you put, even before you like pull it in and yeah I'm just not a fan definitely sizing up I think it did help because for Boohoo I did get one that was for my size but this one I believe was in like the plus range and it is for a double D which I think was the smaller size that was available I couldn't find one that was like in between so this was from the plus range I believe and it was a double D but I think if I sized up maybe a little bit more it might work better because like I know they're not meant to cover your entire boob but it's still not covering enough or like curving well enough with my boobs to actually stay stuck down um yeah I might try another one at some point but that one just did not work definitely worked better than the boohoo one though so you know there's that I could wear it in a pinch if I had to but I would not wear it comfortably or ideally okay so next item is this one here and they do come in these little satchel bags now this is the dress and when I was looking through trying to find that one specific item like I said everything in this bag except for this t-shirt is black so I looked through every one and I was so confused I remember how this is meant to look but I could not figure out what is meant to go where. So we're just going to try and put this on, but it is a black dress and it's got this kind of lace bit that hangs over the top half of the dress. And I don't understand where, where anything goes. So I'm hoping I can figure that out and get it on my body so we can show you. But for the moment, I have no idea. Okay, so this is the dress on. You can't see the bottom of it. I'm sorry, I can't move my camera any further back. Um, obviously this one is too tight for my liking, obviously I have a bit of a stomach so I prefer to be a bit looser and this is pretty tight and I did size up two sizes in this so this is definitely small. I do like this bit over the sleeves though and it does have like a slit that sits on your arms as well so it kind of looks like you've got sleeves on but it's actually not, it's just one full piece and it is longer on this side here. But yeah, I just don't like how tight this is. It's not my favourite. It is a little bit itchy, but as you're moving around, you can't really feel it because you're only touching like a little bit at a time and then it moves. But yeah, I do like this bit, but this is too tight. And for length, it comes about that far from my knee. It stops at about there. So it's not like short by any means. There's probably a good 15, 20 centimeters below my bike shorts that I'm wearing, which stop here, which are like, you know, like a bit shorter than a mini dress kind of short. So it is pretty long, but yeah, I'm just not a fan of how tight this is. And like I said, I did size up. Okay, so the next item, again, in a little bag. This is... This is a skirt, and this is something that I was kind of like tentatively buying because I don't really wear skirts but I wanted to give it a go because it looked really cute on the model and it's kind of got a little bit of ruching kind of on it, I think. Yeah, there's a little bit down the side. You probably won't be able to see it on the camera, but it the material is like a swimsuit. Like, it feels like swimsuit material and it is see-through, like, pretty freaking see-through. So... We'll just have to see how this goes, but like I said, I am not a huge skirt wearer, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like this at all, but I wanted to give it a go. So, let's see what I think of this one. Okay, so this is the skirt on, and I don't actually hate it. It is a fair bit loose, but I did size up, so that's my fault. And I do like how it comes in a kind of a triangle, because there is a piece of fabric here, and then there's a piece of fabric here, and there's like a little bit of like ruching kind of on the sides. And I like how it kind of sits over each other, so that way it kind of takes away from the stomach. I still probably wouldn't wear it because, well for one, is that see-through? Yes it is. Is that see-through? I can't tell. It kind of looks like it is. I can see my cat, so yeah, I think it's see-through. Um, but yeah, I still wouldn't wear it like 
what would I wear with it, what would I do with it, where would I go that I'd wear this, I don't know. But it's a nice skirt, it's just, it's not my style, it doesn't suit me I don't think. And it is like a weird material and it is super see-through, like the front here is not see-through because there's the two layers, but the back only has one layer. And you can see, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, don't hate it, but it's definitely not my thing. I'll stick with my jeans, thank you very much. Next item, what is this? Oh, this is the shirt, okay. So this is the shirt I was looking for that I was gonna wear to that event. And it is a black t-shirt, but it does have mesh across the top. Now my camera's not focused. There, there is two mesh strips that run across the top. However, this is see-through like the normal fabric not even just the mesh like the actual fabric is see-through so not sure how that's gonna go but we'll see but yeah it does have you can kind of see where it is there's a mesh here and there's a mesh line here so we'll see how this one goes okay so here is the black t-shirt with the cutouts obviously the cutouts are in a good position you can see the top of my bra through the bottom one that's just like where the triangle finishes where it joins onto the strap you can see that it is a little tight for how I'd like it. I would like it a bit bigger and I'm not sure what size this is. It will have it on the tag, but it is a little bit snug for my liking. I would like it a little bit looser, but I do like it and I will probably keep it. I'll just definitely wear it with some high-waisted jeans. I am wearing high-waisted jeans at the moment, but they're not my favorite ones. My favorite ones have come up like a little bit higher and I'd probably wear it with those, but yeah, it's not too bad. It is a little baggy. The material is relatively soft. Um, I don't know if it's see-through. I can't tell on the viewfinder. Obviously, you guys might be able to see it a bit better, but I don't think it is see-through. But, well, besides the mesh parts. But yeah, it's not too bad. I don't mind it, but I would definitely recommend sizing up if you don't like anything too tight, if you prefer it a little bit looser fitting. But I will put on the si screen what size it is. As I said, I usually wear a like 1 to 2X depending on branding or a 16 to 18, again, depending on branding. And I'll put on the screen what size this one is. But yeah, it is a little bit tight for my liking. But I do like the shirt. It is comfy. It's a nice length too. It's like very long, which I like. But yeah, I'll definitely be keeping this one. And yeah try and size up probably okay so second last item again I'm sorry that everything is black <laughs> but this is black so oh I found a strap what what is this oh this is a bodysuit okay <laughs> I'm like what is this so this is a bodysuit it's just got spaghetti type straps it is very see-through. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera, but I can see like my bookshelf straight through that. It's got a little bit of a crossover detail at the front. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that on the camera. Um, and then it goes down into a bodysuit. This has is like very long. Like I have that sitting where a bodysuit should be and this is where the straps end. <laughs> So, that's kind of interesting because usually bodysuits are too short for me because I am tall. It doesn't say what size this is meant to be. Is there an actual tag on this anywhere? I don't know. I'm lost in black fabric. I don't think there is a tag. Oh, yes. This is a 2X, so... I don't know, but it is very see-through. It is very long. And the fabric is not my favorite. It kind of feels ribbed. Yeah, it's a ribbed type fabric, but it's like really, really thin ribbing, like rather than chunky ribbing. And I hate ribbed fabric. And I hate the way, I don't like the way this feels. Um, the, uh, it's got Velcro on the bottom, not clasps. Oh no, it is clasps. At first I thought it was Velcro. Um, there is three little clasps at the bottom. But yeah, we'll just see how this goes. I'm not really sure, but this is like so see-through. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Okay, I don't have my jeans fully done up at the moment, but can we just talk about how long this is? Like the crotch nearly reaches my knees. Like, I don't know, I might be able to get it on normally, but it is really long in the torso. Okay, so this is this one on, and I am not a fan with the fit 
of this. This bit here, which you'd think would kind of be like at your belt, is a bit higher and it kind of looks funny. And this just sits weird. And I've tried adjusting it and it still has this like bagginess just here, which I don't understand. The cup is pretty good. It is, again, very, very thin. Like, I don't know if you can tell if it's see-through. Yeah, you can. I can just see it in the camera that it's see-through. I'm wearing, like, a dark colored bra, so you can't really tell. But, yeah, and this is also just super baggy. Like, it's stretchy, but it's not, like, a good stretch, which is kind of what you want on a bodysuit. You kind of want it to hug and fit, whereas this is just like, woo, there it is. The back is just like a normal straight across type back, it just sits above the bra. You can see how see-through it is while I'm standing like this. You can see how see-through it is there. Oh, my pockets are sticking out. Apologize. But yeah, I just don't like how this sits. I don't like the material. I don't like the feel of it. It was pretty easy to get on, but it is like super long and it just... I don't know, it just sits weird. You either pull it down, then it pulls off your bra, or you pull it up, and then you've got this big gap here above your jeans. So, yeah. Not sure about this one. Probably going back if I can figure out if they've got a returns policy or not. Which I'm doubting they do, because it's it's sheen, let's be real. Okay, last item. If I can find the... Oh, this is the one I had to rip the bag. Okay, so this is another bodysuit, and this one is sequined. At the top it's not like full sequins but there is like sequin detailing all over the top of it and then it just goes down into a bodysuit it's got a kind of crossover you can kind of see it there at the back and then it's fully open at the back which I did not realize because I don't think there was a photo of the back of it if I'd seen the back of it I probably would not have bought this because I am NOT a fan of open back at all so not sure about that one. This is also super see-through, like between the sequins. I can see my bed, I can see my bookshelf. It is super, super see-through. So that's a little bit concerning. This is a normal length fairly. It's not as long as that other one, I don't think. Yeah, we'll just have to see. But I really like this sequin kind of effect, but I am not a fan of the back. I can tell you that straight up now. But this one is definitely a lot softer. This is like closer to kind of like the outside of some bras and like some underwear type material. This one also clasps, also three clasps. Clasps, I can't say that word normally. Um, but yeah, it's a lot softer than that other one, that like ribbed material, so. But we'll see how this goes when I try it on. Okay, so I can't really tell if this is in focus because this is just reflective as hell. Um, but this is what this one looks like. I prefer it a lot more to the other one except for the back, which as you already know, I don't like backless stuff. This is very low cut though. Like you can see my bra and if I pull it up, then you get this space here where the black is above the belt line and I'd prefer it if it like sat here so all you could see was the sequins and this it does come in like a long way on the side like you can see my bra here obviously you wouldn't be able to wear a bra with this if you were going to wear it backless but I think you could get away with it with a jacket if you're not a fan of the backless look which I just grabbed one of my leather jackets this one is a like cream color because I didn't want to go black on black but this doesn't look too bad. This kind of dresses it up a little bit, makes it look more um, fancy rather than like kind of music festival kind of clubbing type feel. Um, but yeah, this would definitely not work in the summer. This is hot, obviously. It's a leather jacket. Um, but even if you're wearing a denim jacket, it'd still be hot. And also this just moves around a lot and it is pretty loose, like it's pretty loose. So, yeah, still not a fan of this one. Not a fan of this one. I like how it looks, like just sitting exactly like that front on. I like how it looks, but I wish it just came around, like maybe the sequins stop here, but like more fabric came around on the back because it is very open and I'm not going to turn around because like I said, I don't wear it out, I'm not going to show it on camera. So, yeah. Not a fan of this one as well, but it is a bit better than that first one. The material is better, but it is still loose. 
and it's just not very flattering and like I said I don't like the backless. Okay, so that's all the items I had to try on. For just a little bit of a recap of what I will be returning, hopefully, I need to check out the returns policy. But first is the ribbed fabric kind of bodysuit, if I can even find the other freaking sleeve. This one, oh my god, this one here, it was just too big too loose. I don't like the fabric. It's got a really long torso and like I have a long torso and this is like a really long torso. Yeah, not a fan of the fabric. Just didn't like it. Nothing about it fit fitted well at all. So if I can, I will be returning it. Then we have the mesh top t-shirt, the one with the little mesh straps across it. I will be keeping this one. I do like it. I wish the fabric was something different as it does kind of feel like a swimwear, but it's not too bad and I don't mind the fit of it. I'm gonna try it out with some high-waisted jeans and I think it will be fine. But yeah, I will be keeping this one. It can go over on my laundry pile. The bras, I will, I think I'll have to keep them for sanitary reasons, I guess, because it's actually sticking to your skin and it's probably ripping skin scales off when it peels off. So I will be keeping it, but you know, if I'm in a pinch, it could work, but not ideal. Then we have the other bodysuit, the sequin one. I love the way this looks from the front, but I don't like the back. It is also really hard to get on because this material is really soft. It's also slippery. So trying to hold on to the two pieces to do up the first clasp, it took me like five minutes because I just, my hand just kept slipping off this stuff because it's just so slippery and silky. But I do like this and if you're a fan of the open back situation then I recommend it but it's just not for me. The shirt I'm wearing I'll obviously be keeping and I'm sorry if it looks like I'm crying I was just coughing up a lung. Not sure where it came from but you know. This dress which I have in some other way and I'm not sure how to get it back out. Yeah so the dress with the this bit over it I don't I, I really like the bit that goes over your shoulder and hangs I like the look of it but the fit of the actual dress itself is just a no. And this is, I think I had a look, this is a 3XL. So I did size up already and it's still too tight for me. Um, I'm gonna have to look at the photo to see whether it was actually tight fitting on the model or whether it was like a bit flowier. I'll see, if it was meant to be flowier, then it's, I'd suggesting sizing up. If it was tight on the model, then I didn't look at it properly because I don't usually wear really tight dresses. But I might do a DIY with this. It'll depend on what, the returns policy is like. If the returns policy seems good, then I'll probably return them. But if it's not, then I might bring a DIY video to you guys. We'll see. I might even do something with that sequin one if I can't return it. I have ideas going in my brain right now. But anyways, that is all the clothes that I ordered from Shein. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do another Shein video, one with more color. So, and I will give them their due. They have a pretty extensive plus size range. Like, I went through pages and pages and pages of plus size stuff. Granted, a lot of it weren't really my style, but there is a large range on there, so you're probably going to find something you're looking for. And I do recommend these t-shirts with the little cats on them. There's a few of them. They're super soft. Definitely size up, though. If you want, like, the loose, baggy, like, t-shirt kind of feel, definitely size up. But, yeah, that is it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.